Hello everyone, I'm Sam Reichert with OBTVLive.com. You know, over the years we've heard of Tornado Alley out in Oklahoma and Dixie Alley in central Mississippi into Alabama, but have you ever just wondered where do all of these tornado tracks occur and where could I go where they don't have tornadoes? Well, I have the map for you. This, this is a map showing tornado tracks over the last uh, several decades, probably the last hundred years or so. So you can tell from, from the Rocky Mountains of High Plains back out to the west, tornadoes are non-existent or extremely rare. You can see here in Nevada, maybe one little track of a tornado sometime in history. Oregon looks fairly uh, vacant as far as tornado tracks are concerned. But right here in this circled area, that's what's typically called as Tornado Alley. Now the history of that name is that a uh, research uh, person years ago did research on where tornadoes occur and, and he concentrated on this area and, and they called it Tornado Alley. Now if you take a look though at the rest of the nation you can see there's, there's not really any difference in Tornado Alley and, and the rest of the nation, particularly right down here in South Central Mississippi looks like to be a hot spot, and it's proven to be a hot spot over the last several years. In fact, some of my data that I've looked at indicates that tornadoes are more likely to occur in this area now than even they are out here. Now, the tornadoes that occur out in Kansas and Oklahoma are certainly easier to see. They're not rain-wrapped. Terrain is flat, not a lot of trees, so you can see that tornado from a, a distance. When you're in our area here in the Mid-South, all the moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, when tornadoes occur here, they're usually uh, in heavy rain. We call that rain wrapped. And we have trees and we have hills and they're more difficult to see. So look, all of the Eastern United States, uh, tornadoes are certainly possible all the way down from Wisconsin down through Mississippi to the Gulf Coast. When you get up in here in Virginia and West Virginia and New England, then the chances of tornadoes look like they dramatically go down there. So, if you ever looked about moving to where tornadoes are very unlikely, then head out west. I'm Sam Riker. Thanks for watching.